What is up YouTube? Welcome back, Aeneas here. Today is the last day for the top five new brews for MTG Bro or the Brothers War. Uh, today, before we get to the number one deck, we're going to look at uh, the countdown of the honorable mentions. The other decks which are good uh, and are very interesting new ideas, but just didn't have the time to polish them and make them perfect yet. So... Yeah, let's get through them. Uh, these are other ones that uh, I think could potentially be very good. So if you want to see more of these, uh, let me know in the comments and uh, maybe I can make a separate video on these uh, later on. All right, so the first one is this black-white double silex. Double silex, you know, like double rainbow. Um, but yeah, there's two silexes now. There's one from the future and there's one from the past. And... Uh, you know, we don't know which one's better, but, uh, so why not build a deck that uses both? So the double Silex, if you're not familiar, there's this Karn Silex card that was in Dominar United and it enters tapped and, uh, players can't cast light, spend life to cast spells. And then you can exile this card and pay X mana and it destroys all permanents that are X or less mana cost. So a board wipe that is delayed by one turn and that lets you destroy everything. So the real benefit here is it kills all the creatures, artifacts, enchantments, stuff like that that are on the board that are annoying. You get it down on three, then turn four, you can basically board wipe everything because it's turn four and everyone, you, you do X is four and everything that's played before turn four will die. All right, so that's pretty good. And then the other Silex is, um, you know, the new one, Urza Silex, kind of does a similar thing. You play it on three, you pay four to activate it, destroys everything except for your lands. And then um, there has some other effect where you can get a Planeswalker later in the game. All right, well, I don't want to go too in depth on this one, but this is the other ver uh, one of the other decks that is an honorable mention. Uh, it's running Planeswalkers, the Silexes to clear the board, uh, Invoke to Spare, and Corrupt to win you the game, dealing a bunch of damage to the opponent. Uh, so you just want to keep the board clear and uh, clog up the board until you can destroy them with your big spells at the end. All right, the next honorable mention is the green, splashing a little bit of white, Ramp Elves. So I started off with this being a Selesnia deck, but the more I looked into it, the more uh, I thought just Mono Green was better. So there are a surprisingly good number of elves in this set. The Lenoir Stalker, the Sitanul Stalwart. This is like a uh, almost like a Lenoir Elves, but not, not quite. Uh, there's another one that you have to tap a separate creature to get the ability or an artifact. But still pretty good. It ramps you. Uh, of course, we have Gala Greeters, which also ramps you. And Leaf Crown Visionary buffs your other elves and lets you draw cards when you play elves. Uh, Land of Elm Speaker ramps you. And so we have all this ramp going on. Oh, sorry. And we have this one. This is one of the key pieces. <laughs> uh, but we have Gwenna, Eyes of Gaia. Taps for two mana that can be used for creature spells or to activate creature abilities. And if you cast a power a creature with power five or greater, then you untap it and put a counter on this card. So anyway, all that ramp, uh, ramping elves has to build into something. So what are we playing? Well, the main thing we want to get down is Defiler of Vigor, which is a big creature that pumps your squad when you play more creatures. We also have the Elder, so Silverback Elder, uh, which is a big creature that has some good effects whenever you cast a creature. And Clay Champion. This is just going to be a massive creature if you have enough mana for it. And you can pay in white as well to pump your squad. So all of these are ways to make your squad bigger. And then uh, Platoon Dispenser is also another mana sink that makes tokens and draws you cards and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, so that's the second honorable mention. Uh, definitely think Mono Green should be a deck in this format. People just maybe are not interested in, in playing Mono Green. I don't know. Uh, maybe Rent will get on it. Okay, next one, uh, you white Urza's artifacts. So I had another Urza big artifact deck earlier. This one is an aggressive artifact deck, uh, not even hyper aggressive, maybe I guess a mid range. 
Wait, the key card is Urza, Prince of Krug, which pumps all your artifact creatures with plus two, plus two, and has an ability that you can sink mana into. And we just have very solid uh, artifact creatures, Patchwork, Automaton, Hotshot Mechanic, the uh, Liberator, all of these are going to grow as you're casting spells. And uh, Steel Seraph is a cheap artifact that comes down, so is this one. There's really a lot of cheap white artifact creatures, and uh, I, I definitely think there could be something here. Plus we have the Golden Argosy, which can blink some of our uh, creatures to make them even bigger. This is a 3-3, three, three, but if you blink it, it'll be a 5-4. Uh, this one turns into a 4-5, so uh, definitely some cool things you can do with the, the blink effects. All right, and moving on, this is another honorable mention, the Grixis Blade Coil. Uh, some people wanted to see this one, and I thought this deck is a pretty cool idea, but basically we got a really good new sweeper in the format, the Brotherhood Brotherhood's End. It's a 3 mana to deal 3 damage to all creatures and planeswalkers, so that's going to be a good way to sweep the board. And um, we also have this Blade Coils, Coil Serpent, which is joining the format which is just a really good mana sink and late game finisher for control. Draws you cards, makes the opponent discard. Uh, it can also swing in for a lot of damage. So, uh, Notably, it also doesn't die to the Brotherhood's End because this is 3 damage and this is a 4 toughness. So that's a pretty big element that will play into this deck. Um, yeah, and then I just put some other good control cards in here. Some of the new removal is really nice with XL effects and um, destroy anything. Then we have Gix's Command, which also is like a pseudo sweeper, but can also bring back your creature so we could get back our Blade Coil Serpent. And then Dreams of Steel and Oil because uh, almost everyone's running creatures and a lot of them are running unearthed creatures or creatures that come back from the graveyard. This exiles and it exiles a card from their graveyard. So it not only acts as a good uh, discard effect, but later in the game, you can use it as graveyard hate. So yeah, just a win-win there. So pretty sweet. Uh, probably I'm going to try to make this work because I love Grixis and I love three mana sweepers. So I'll definitely be trying this deck out on the ladder at some point in the future. All right, and then the number one deck for... Uh, MTG Bro is UR Prowess. So this deck didn't get a whole lot of new cards, but what it did get was basically the missing pieces, the things that it didn't have. So uh, before we didn't have a great one drop in UR Prowess, and that was kind of holding us back. So now we have one of the strongest one drops of in all of Magic, uh, at least going back to like Pioneer, Pioneer and explorer and um maybe legacy i'm not sure i didn't play legacy that much but possibly it's played in legacy as well uh one mana one two human monk that has haste and prowess uh so you can play this down it's already hasty if it's like turn two or three um you can cast some spells get it up to like a three four swing in for that damage etc uh, another cool thing about it is uh, let's say you have like a Balmor that you played on turn two, then turn three you play that and you cast a couple spells. It's getting bigger from its own prowess and it's getting bigger from the Balmor triggered. So it's just going to be ginormous with Trample swinging in there and uh, yeah, you're going to have a good time. So uh, that's one of the missing cards that we really needed. And on top of that, we got Third Path Iconoclast, which is another really good card for this deck because... Every time you cast a non-creature spell, you create a 1-1 uh, colorless soldier artifact creature token. And one of the key cards in the UR prowess deck was Balmor, which pumps your whole team with plus 1, plus 0, and trample. So if you go wide with the Iconoclast, then you drop a Balmor, you can basically just pump your squad really huge. And so that's another way that this deck can win. So it has ways to grow big, it has ways to grow wide, and it has ways to pump the entire squad and swing in for lethal uh, pretty quickly in the mid game. So I think it's going to be a pretty quick aggressive deck. Um, the Maybe the only card that is not 
100% sure on, Delver Secrets. Uh, I played a little bit with this in the current standard. Whenever it flipped, you win the game. You just win the game. So um, I think it might be worth including for that reason. Uh, we have about 24 instants and sorceries. So that's a little bit over a 33% chance for this to flip. I think that's probably good enough, meaning like, you know, by turn three, it should probably flip on you. Um, but it could be replaced with the Phoenix Chick, uh, which is a 1-1 flyer in red uh, to make your, your plays a little bit more consistent and uh, a little bit less hoping that it flips on you, you know. Okay, but anyway, the deck looks pretty solid. We have some good removal, Lightning Strike, Play with Fire that we got in the last set. We have Consider, which is a nice draw. Ancestral Anger, which is a nice draw. Uh, slip Out the Back, etc. And then Electrostatic Infantry, which is also growing bigger and bigger and has Trample. So that's another just really good card that fits in the deck. And the only new card I added besides these two creatures was Mishra's Command. So... One of the problems of the deck, besides not having the one drop, as I mentioned, the other thing that I noticed sometimes when I was playing before with the UR Prowess deck is that you play the Balmor on like turn three or four, and you want to swing in with lethal right then and go off and combo, but Balmor, you know, has so many sickness, so you, you can't do it. So uh, with Mishra's Command, we have more of a potential to... Uh, like cast this with the Balmor maybe on turn 3 or later in the game, even later in the game and give it haste it also pumps the entire squad and um, you could potentially more often get like a turn 3 or 4 lethal than you would have been able to before so I think having the haste from the Mistress Command for potentially 1 red mana is relevant and then Mishra's Command also has some flexibility in that you can uh, remove a creature, you can finish off some pesky Planeswalker if they play something that's annoying. Uh, you can even, if you're getting a bunch of lands in your hand, you know, you don't really need to go past about four lands in this deck. So you can use Mishra's Command to just cycle through your deck, get rid of those lands, draw some more new cards. Uh, so I think it kind of helps fill that curve that, that the deck was missing uh, and help you finish the game a little bit faster. So hopefully you can end the, the game about turn four a lot of the times, uh, which is going to be faster than mid-range decks want to finish things. So yeah, I'm hoping uh, it'll be good. The Like I said, the one I play in standard right now is actually doing surprisingly well. And... I still win quite a lot of the games, even though uh, even though we're missing some of the one drops, the good one drops. So I think with Swift Spear and Iconoclast, it's just going to be even better. Just going to do well. So, all right. So that's the number one new brew with uh, with MTG Bro, and you know you saw all the honorable mentions: Blade Coil, Urza's Artifacts, the Green Ramp Elves, the Double Silex. Uh, let me know what you think. Which cards are you very excited for in the new set? And which decks do you think looked really good? Which ones do you want to see me try out on the ladder? And um, I got some of your suggestions on Twitter as well, so I'll be sure to check out those and um, try to build some of those decks and uh, try them out sometimes. So let me know. Leave a comment, leave a like, uh, subscribe, and until next time, see ya.